check out some of the Volcano Bay construction. We're getting off at this exit right now. Uh, it's in the middle of the day right now. We'll see kind of what's going on. Very excited. I see. Wow. Lots of, lots of progress. Nice, nice. Definitely seeing some big changes. Very cool. Yeah, that is everything I see. And there's a random building. That actually is one of the storage buildings for some of the equipment, one of the offices, I guess. All right, so I'm doing a little bit of an iPhone update here because I actually um, totally forgot my vlogging camera, but I so wanted to do an update video for you guys today. So anyways, here's the Orlando Eye here in Orlando, Florida. I'm right now in the parking garage and you can kind of overlook and get a good view. If you're wondering why Shrek and all these other people are there, there's a few other attractions here at iDrive uh, 360, but of course the Orlando Eye is like the main one. And so yeah, this is it. I'm gonna try to get some more views of it from on top of the garage, yeah. You know something that's really interesting, and I know you might not be able to see it clearly because I'm using my phone, but you can see SeaWorld Orlando, or at least Mako, in the background. So here's the Orlando Eye, and in the garage, like on the fifth floor, where is it? Yeah, Mako and Kraken. That is awesome. So you can see kind of like a lot of the skyline. Of course, you have to ride the Orlando Eye to see like the best view, um, but yeah. So here is the Orlando Eye, and as you guys can see, it's got some nice fountains in front of it. And uh, they also have sea life, and obviously they have some other things in there. So we're gonna check it out. Yeah. And right over here, looks like they're doing construction. Uncle Julio's is coming. It's like a Mexican place. They had one back uh, when I was in Maryland. When I lived there, they had a couple locations. Pretty good place. Yeah, so Orlando Eye is right here. And then, right across is the construction for Uncle Julio's. They have like a whole festival thing going on. I'm not sure if this is like, if this happens every weekend or whatever, but they have some different places set up, serving some different foods and whatnot. Looks like we have some chicken and steak kebab. Mmm, that's good. It definitely smells good. I'll give them that. It definitely smells good. Anyway, so um, there's a lot here obviously going on. We're gonna try to uh, kind of head in there. I'm not gonna ride, but I'm still gonna check it out. I've been definitely trying to ride this, but I'm gonna wait till I get my Legoland pass. I'm actually gonna go in there and ask them right now about the pricing. I think it's like $99 and you get Legoland admission, water park admission for Legoland and unlimited rides on this eye. I like how on the side of the building, they have uh, many of the different icons of Orlando. That's Hulk. Pretty sure that's Hulk. Is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, Space Shuttle, obviously. Uh, many different, different, uh, sorry, many different things. We got flamingos, and uh, it's really cool. Palm trees, so yeah. Let's head in, see what's going on. This is the entrance. Wow, I've not been in here since they rethemed it to the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye. So it originally opened as just the Orlando Eye, and this looked completely different. But now it's the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye because they have a new, they have a sponsor. So um, when you walk in the gondolas, it's it's like a completely new experience, which is why I definitely need to experience this, especially if they uh, like get rid of the branding, which I don't think they'll do. But yeah, it is now the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye. So you have the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye here. Uh, right here is the new, this is brand new, like this wasn't here on my last visit, it's a 7D dark ride adventure, so it's some kind of like dark ride, you think it's like a big, big ride, it's literally just like a simulator in there, but it's an actual ride, so that's cool, and then Sea Life is over there, and then some restaurants and whatnot, um, but yeah, what's really cool is the Orlando Eye set up right here. And just um, on the side of the Orlando Eye, you have Legoland. I'm gonna ask some questions, see what the pass is. Because I know uh, Merlin actually owns the Orlando Eye and Legoland, so it's the same company. So this is new. They also have uh, new Coke-like merchandise in here. Didn't notice this the last time I was here, so yeah, some new things. And there's one of the gondolas right there for the Orlando Eye. And I will definitely ride it in the near future, but I just wanted to show you guys 
the gondola. It's pretty cool. That might be the VIP one because this one doesn't have the same, I guess, outer red thing, so I'm not sure, but yeah. And again, this is the logo for the eye, and they have this new uh, concept art, I guess, whatever art has the Coca-Cola bottle on it. This seems to be the original uh, merchandise, so as you guys can see, it just says the Orlando Eye, but no Coke. And this is the map I actually got, they gave me, so let's see if I can get it. The sun here. Yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. So it is most certainly apparent that most of the gondolas do not have that red um, outer part to it and that like Coca-Cola swoosh or whatever, I don't know. But that one, that gondola, looks different than the other ones. So maybe that one's dedicated uh, more to Coke. Maybe that's the VIP gondola, because I know they do have a VIP one where it actually comes with Coke beverages. So um, I'm not 100% sure, but I know one of them is like a special one that actually has some kind of Coke thing in it. And you get beverages, it comes with that selfie sticks um, I think you can use while you're on it. So yeah, that is that. Uh, from this side of the uh, Orlando Eye, this is the back. I'm showing you the back now. Um, we have a Legoland um, ad here. It almost kind of looks like a bus stop, but it just says Legoland, so maybe it's for people to get pictures in front of. It's really just an advertising thing for Legoland. Um, they, they dropped some passes, or the prices, sorry, of the annual passes. It went from 140 a year to 99 That's a pretty significant drop. Uh, Maybe that's just for the summer, maybe it's a promotion. But it also includes unlimited, like I asked, literally unlimited rides on this thing. If you get a Legoland pass, uh, Merlin is a company that owns Legoland and New Orlando Eye. So, um, essentially you can ride this thing three, if you want 365 days a year, all day long. That's like literally what you can do. Um, and so, and you have to buy a Legoland pass, but maybe I don't even want to go. I mean, I'll go to Legoland, definitely. But maybe I don't want to go to Legoland. Maybe I literally just want to ride the Orlando Eye whenever I want. That $99 price is an amazing deal, considering, like, it's like, I think 20 or 30 bucks for one ride on the Orlando Eye, so yeah. And this is the back entrance uh, for the Orlando Eye. So as you guys can see, new sign again like on my last visit here which was maybe over a year ago yeah it's been a year since i've been on this thing and i haven't been on it at night either so i'm gonna get that legoland pass very soon and i'll be able to ride this literally whenever i want so yeah and here's the sign for i drive 360 home of the orlando eye as you guys can see and then if i come over here obviously we have the logo for the coca-cola orlando eye and then of course these other attractions. Um, Skeletons actually has some things on display in Ripley's Believe It or Not now, so that's very cool. But um, yeah, so there's a lot to do here in Orlando, a lot of small attractions, and this is definitely one of them. And anyways, just wanted to show you uh, what it looks like kind of when you first enter. Well, again, this is the backside of the eye, obviously, and uh, the views from up there are really incredible. I do highly recommend it. Um, I think when I went last time, I didn't really go on a uh, sunny day, so I didn't actually get to see everything I wanted to see, but I will be back. I will ride it during the daytime and, of course, at night, and maybe every single day of the year. No, I probably won't do that, but yeah. But check it out. It is the Orlando Eye. Yeah. Here's a little, like, wall backdrop you can actually get your photo taken in front of. Um, and then some other uh, some other attractions here uh, but when you walk in this is like the long hallway kind of when you walk in through the back entrance and it takes you to pretty much the same place that I was in uh, before one more view of the map it really is an experience to share um, and if I do a zoom in which I'm gonna try to do you can see the VIP gondola I'm pretty sure it's the VIP gondola right up there and then on this side we also have another VIP so I think there's a few of them on the actual wheel itself. Well that is the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye. I'm gonna go over to um, 
Universal's Volcano Bay now to do a little mini construction update. Nothing big, uh, that will be tomorrow, but I figured I'd just kind of vlog a little update, um, you know, Volcano Bay. In addition to that, I also wanted to uh, head over to a few more locations uh, to do some like little construction updates around Orlando. This wasn't a construction update. This was literally just me showing uh, something that I haven't been to before, which you guys have probably already seen. Uh, if you haven't though, uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, yeah, so that is really cool. I will come back to the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye and ride it someday in the near future. There's a lot of really nice shops and restaurants around here, like Shake Shack, for example, a burger place. So if you're here, you can uh, check out a lot of the nice dining places. I mean, they're kind of all over, but there's one of them. They also have Outback Steakhouse right there. And again, they're just kind of uh, everywhere, tons of restaurants. So it's uh, not only like an attraction area, but also a dining area. It's sort of, sort of like Disney Springs to some extent, but it really doesn't have as much as they have to offer um, as far as that goes, I mean. It's still really cool though, honestly. I, I do really uh, think this is a nice area. I wish I actually had more time to uh, check out this area because I honestly don't come here enough. So, But anyways, yeah, again, I'm leaving. I will be back soon. And here's a little view of the Outback Steakhouse um, restaurant right here. I mean, so again, there's just a lot of different places. Um, they have Buffalo Wild Wings as well. You know, I said Shake Shack, Carrabba's. Uh, a lot of different options here. And uh, it's it's a nice place to dine, and the views are stunning. And you have Ripley's, believe it or not, right there. Uh, it's just kind of down the street, so right kind of like right next door. Um, so just kind of showing you guys what's around. Oh, and also Longhorn Steakhouse right there. Very cool. So again, uh, they have a Longhorn. Now I know when I'm in the mood for a Longhorn, I'm just going to come over here. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Wet and Wild is still on that sign. Um, and then over here, we have a new parking garage that is arising. There's not really a whole lot to cover, so I'll just kind of uh, show you guys this. But it is for, I believe, um, this place called Mengo's. Is that what it's called? Something like that. There's some kind of place that's over there. Uh, I think it's a nightclub or whatever. But a new parking garage is now there. And they put that up uh, really fast. I mean, it wasn't like this view. Uh, months ago or even a month ago like I don't think any of it was up so they have really put this up very fast and it's interesting to see how a parking uh, garage is constructed so there we go and I've been seeing a lot of new ads for Legoland lately so they are definitely advertising but um, I'm gonna try to get over to Legoland when I can you know what I realized I'm kind of hungry but you know what's around the world's largest Mickey D's that's right or his largest McDonald's. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna pull in if I can do this without crashing <laughs> and vlogging. Anyways, this is, yeah, the world's largest McDonald's. So let's see what I can get. So I had an idea for um, a future video, I guess, here at the world's largest McDonald's. So just leave a comment, because I really want to know, what would you guys think if I did a 24-hour video in the Mickey, in Mickey D's right here, world's largest McDonald's, and I wouldn't just be like me vlogging like it would actually be a full-blown edited production it would really be good it would include music um, good edits you know all sorts of different cool um, things going on so if you guys think that I should go over to this McDonald's and do like literally a 24 7 24 hours in a McDonald's or actually in the world's largest McDonald's and let me know because it's open 24 hours and um, they have actual signature foods. It's not just your normal McDonald's food. So if I do that, which I hope I can in the future, I want to do that. Let's, uh, let's get some likes on this video and some comments if you want me to do it. And I will go over, I will come back and do a 24 hour video here at this McDonald's. And here's that new parking garage. Oh, look at it. We have some new, uh, SeaWorld advertisements. Ah, that's cool. Anyway, so, um, or that one's new, the Mega one isn't. Um, but anyways, that's that new parking garage, world's largest McDonald's. I think this uh, idea I have would be a really good idea because not only would I be advertising McDonald's, I'd be trying all the different things, telling you guys about it. I think it would be a really good idea. So let's head in and kind of vlog a little bit. There's not a whole lot I'm going to vlog, uh, but I might just get something quickly to eat or to go because I want to head over to Universal. 
but I mean, yeah, I mean, I think that'd be a really good idea. And uh, like I said, I have some ideas up my sleeve or some tricks up my sleeve. So I'll do like an arcade video, you know, some other things. I have some good ideas for this. I mean, I'd spend 24 hours in here, so there'd be a lot to do. Like I was saying, this McDonald's doesn't have your typical offerings. They have like some pizzas, you know, pastas, steak and cheese, or Philly cheesesteak subs. So they go um, above and beyond, and they have some cool things. They also have Belgian waffles, uh, you know, some other different menu options. So, I mean, they have a whole culinary team back here. And uh, again, these are just a few of the options that they have. So I just got a quick thing to go. Didn't really uh, feel like vlogging it because it's just a Big Mac, but. I will be back to do that 24 hour video and that I think will be a nice video. I'm gonna try to keep it short. I'm not gonna make it like an hour or whatever, f you know, 45 minutes like some people say. Your videos are too long. Yeah, I know, I, I gotta condense. But but anyways, uh, when I edit. But anyways, yeah, so that is that world's largest McDonald's. Um, I need to do some more iDrive videos because there's a lot of stuff here on iDrive and I really never check it out. So thumbs up the video too if you wanna see like more iDrive videos where I literally just check out iDrive Attractions, so we'll see. I'll try to do it, you know? Anyways, there's a Mako advertisement. Yeah. But sadly, McDonald's doesn't do create your own taste anymore, fortunately. Alrighty, guys, so I am right now passing Volcano Bay, and I will be back here tomorrow uh, morning, really early in the morning, because I'm going to SeaWorld, but before I go to SeaWorld, I wanted to do a construction update for Volcano Bay. So I'm gonna roll down my windows actually and see if we can hear some music because they've been testing music. And it's so loud that you can actually hear it because they don't wanna get the traffic noises like in the park. So yeah, we'll see if we can hear anything. But other than that, I mean, look how nice it looks. Honestly, like check that out. There's people up there. Maybe they're doing training, but that is so cool. Like that it's almost done and honestly like yeah I'll be back here tomorrow but honestly so cool it's really coming along nicely I'm so excited to actually uh, experience this May 25th I think is the opening day don't know if I'll be there but I will be there eventually but you know what's weird I saw a picture is this true they removed part of the water slide over there yeah they removed like part something over I'll cover it tomorrow. You know what's weird? As soon as you're on Universal Property, if you have the mobile app, it sends you a message saying you now have access to like in-park features or whatever, which I think is for wait times, which is really weird because like they know you're on Universal Property. So if you have the app, just be aware. Universal can keep track of your phone, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So they know where you are at all times. There's the Hulk. Yeah. So again, I know I'm not showing a whole lot in this little quick video. I will be back uh, another day and you will see a much better update. And uh, I know I haven't really showed much of the construction process for Volcano Bay. The reason is, is because I haven't been able to get out and I didn't show the beginning stages because, you know, I... Oh, by the way, I think they're adding Volcano Bay there uh, to that sign. But I didn't really show the beginning stages because, you know, I haven't always been in Orlando. But if we drive around to this parking area, you guys can see they actually expanded it uh, right there. So they expanded that area. Um, so now they have a lot more toll booths, which is very cool. And uh, I think the prices are pretty much the same, whether you're here for Volcano Bay or Universal. Well, check it out, everyone. They're also doing landscaping. This is so unlike Universal. Landscaping, what? Yeah, landscaping. Kind of like near the garage area, I think. But that's so cool, I'm, I'm happy. That is good that they're doing new landscaping. Universal is starting to improve uh, dramatically, at least uh, with the landscaping and all that to make their property look better. Um, and I do think, I mean, I do like Disney more than Universal and I will get some criticism for that, but I don't know, I just, I just, I just like Disney more, but Universal's getting up there, which is good. Uh, but with Avatar Land, I think Universal just can't compete with Disney on everything. Anyways though, I saw a Volcano Bay bus earlier around here. I'm really hoping it's still here because I wanted to get some close-up pictures of it. So we're gonna see if it's there. Okay, I'm in the exit area and I there are like Volcano Bay buses in this area. How do you get like over there though? Is what I'm trying to figure out. 
I don't know if this is uh I see the bus over there. Can I like I don't know. We'll see if I can get some shots of this bus. But yeah. I think it's like right over here. Yeah, check it out. What kind of a yeah. buses go. I'm imagining that they're going to the garage to just do test runs, but you would actually like get picked up in the garage and then they do a loop and come back. So they built a loop just for the buses for Volcano Bay. Uh, I'll cover that probably tomorrow, but it's interesting. So yeah. Check it out. We have some uh, construction workers. So this is the one of the new toll booths. Um, I'm guessing for the expansion of Volcano Bay they need more toll booths. This is like one of the regular ones, but is it open? I have no clue. But yeah. Check that out. Yeah. Well, that was my little update for today um, of Volcano Bay. Not a whole lot going on, but I think I got some good, decent footage. I mean, today, tomorrow will be a full-blown update. So, um, other than that, this is what we can see right now. And I don't know if you guys can see, but over by um, Sapphire Falls is where the bus loop is going to be. It's going to take you from the Universal Garage to a bus loop. You're going to get off the bus, and then you're going to walk under a pathway. Like, like you're actually going to walk under some kind of underground pathway to the front entrance of Volcano Bay. And uh, if you want to see more, I will try to put the update in the description. The, like, actual link, but yeah. Alrighty, guys.